In 2000, Mike Brown, bouncing around looking for rides again, lived in Europe, competing in the 125 class of MXGP and finishing third behind eventual champion Grant Langston. But in 2001, the Tennessee native would come home and be back at odds again with Langston, competing for the AMA title against the 17-year-old defending champion, Travis Pastrana. Pastrana would suffer a series of hard falls at mid-season, leaving rivals Brown and Langston in a two-rider duel heading into the season finale in Pennsylvania. And after a Moto One win, Brown of Pro Circuit Kawasaki sat just six points behind Langston heading into the final moto. But Brown went down off the start, leaving his teammate for the day, Ricky Carmichael, up front with Langston in second and ready to clinch the title. Brown fought through the field, scratching for points, and then the rear wheel of Langston's KTM failed, giving the veteran from Tennessee the opening he needed to capture the championship. That 2001 season lives in lore as one of the most dramatic ever, but Brown had plenty more to do, racing at a high level for nearly a dozen more years. And then he turned to off-road racing, and now he trains the young 250 riders for KTM and Husqvarna. And even the kids will tell you, Brown is still as tough as they come. Mike Brown would compete for over 20 years in AMA competition, earning 16 moto wins, 64 podiums, and that famed 2001 title.